If P is false and Q is true, find a truth value for the following statements. And then we have four truth or statements that we are going to find the truth value for. First, we need to remember that certain symbols have certain names and meanings. This is what we call a disjunction. And it is the logical connector OR. The next one, this symbol here, is a conjunction and is the logical connector AND. And then finally, we will use this symbol, which means negation. And another way of saying that is simply not. So let's look at this first one, part A. Part A is rewritten as P. And remember, that symbol is a disjunction or Q. We know from our statement that P is false. And we know from our statement that Q is true. So I can simply write this as true. And then we'll have or. And then we'll have false. And in a case of a disjunction, one or both have to be true. So since we do have one that is true here, that means that the truth value of this statement is true. Then we'll go to the next one. And when we look at that, we're going to have the fact that this symbol right here is a negation. So then we can write it as not. And we know that P, in this particular case, is a false statement. So it'll be not false, which will be true. Then we're going to look at the third one, which we're going to go ahead and discuss the fact that the P is false. So this will be false. Then we have the conjunction, which will be AND. And then we're going to have the logical connector of NOT, which is this right here. And then finally, we will look at Q, which in this case is true. So we will have false and not true, which means that this can be simply rewritten as false and false. And since both of them are false, the truth value of this whole thing will be simply false. Then we'll look at this last one. Let me scroll down just a little bit. And we want to go ahead and write this out. And we note that we have a negation at the start, which is going to be a no. So, or not, I should say. Then we will open up a set of parentheses. We're going to have another not. We know that P is going to be a false statement. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. And then we're going to have another conjunction, which will be AND. And then Q is going to be a true statement. So now I need to go ahead and determine what the truth value of this whole thing is. So we'll start inside the parentheses since that's what we're going to do anytime we deal with order of operations. Now notice that this not f will be a true. And I will still have and and then I still have this true. Now 
they are contained inside the parentheses and then I will have the not still outside the parentheses. Now this entire statement here will have a truth value of true since both of the values are true. So now I can rewrite this as not true and we know that simply stated not true is going to be false. So the truth value is false.